Hi guys, how's it going? So in this video, we'll set up our application. Um, we'll download a couple of different files uh, that I've uploaded on the Git, and we'll set up the project and we'll talk about what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do. So the very first thing is to create a new Laravel application. We'll be using, I'll be using 5.0 uh, version, which is more stable at the moment. And uh, you may choose to use uh, latest Laravel development branch or whichever you like. So I'm just going to I'm just going to use the uh, composer create project laravel slash laravel give it a name of face smash 2016 5.0 version and prefer this that's going to pull out the 5.0 branch which is pretty uh, stable I haven't had any surprises uh, lately so give it a second or two it's going to download pretty quickly It's downloading all the dependencies from Composer and it has already done everything for us and the key has been generated. So let's go inside this application, Face Smash 2016. And let's go to our hosts and make sure to add a virtual host here, Face Smash 2016.app, and then just source it. These are two shortcuts I use for uh, basically sudo, nano, you know that sort of thing if you do this you'll you'll come to actually uh, similar or bash RC or something you know Shit, my typing is not good today so um, yeah so yeah just um, just add host in your um, configuration and source it and the next thing you want to do is you want to get inside our Vagrant Homestead box. So as I said, this is just a VM is a shortcut. You can as I search into that and go inside CD code and then go inside your application. And then just we, we're going to serve uh, that host, facemash 2016.app home Vagrant code. And public photo so face mesh this and that that will serve our, serve our pages let's go over to the browser and see if our application uh, is listening to our host that's our um, face mesh face mesh 2016 dot app port 8000 and when we try to go there we should be presented with a laravel 5 screen if you see the screen um, you have correctly uh, successfully downloaded and installed a laravel application on your local machine now the next thing is we'll open up the application in our uh, the editor of uh, our choice. So I'm going to open up and bring pull pull into this uh, this view in a second. Just give me a second. So let's open up the application. So here is my item. I'm going to be using PHP Storm. You can use Sublime Text if you want to. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go back to the YouTube. Um, let's say here. And then what we want to do is we'll go to um, my channel. Let's just say here. And then we want to go and find out this video. In this video, there's a link to download the assets, which will get us started really quickly. So go to GitHub, GitHub link and it'll present to you all these things and download as a zip and once you download it it's going to take a bit of time because there are heaps of images inside this uh, just just some images I uploaded for example if you go to uh, for example yeah here the European public and then you go to images and then you go to models and you'll see all those uh, images uh, I uploaded for you for us to get started so give it some time it's going to download really quickly and then cancel we can stop this while we are here now so in our project let's go back to our project while it's downloading we'll come back to that in a second the next thing you want to do is just make sure your key has been set it's local true everything is okay we need to create a database so database is going to be face mesh 2016 I'm gonna call it face mash 2016 go to terminal and here um, 
get inside your homestead and ssh into your homestead and then mysql um, user homestead log into mysql and then give it a password or secret whatever i think the, the homestead is service secret so just use it okay so we're going to create a new uh, create new create database i think create data base face mash 2016 and one row is affected so it's all good exit clear the screen i'm going to change here face mash 2016 homestead secret that's everything is good there's no problem we'll, we'll be setting up the email configurations here pretty, uh, in one of the videos because we want to invite our friends to come to uh, so they can visit our site and they can uh, play the game but right now we don't need it so we'll come back to that in a minute next thing you want to do is let's say if we manage to download those that file okay it has done so open this one up and in here we are going to unzip it and once it's unzipped um, all we want is we want everything so just copy that copy and close it and go back to the editor and just um, what should we do I don't want to override everything so create a new folder new directory called assets and then over here I'm, I'm gonna paste all those assets and after doing so what you have to do is the public directory you can pretty much copy and then paste and override because it has everything you need if you're using version 5.0 but if you're not using version 5.0 you may have to use something different uh, I'm not sure what's inside the public in other versions like Laravel 5.1 or 5.2 so but the anyway you'll still need CSS fonts and uh, images and uh, JS folders it's only these uh, this index.php may have certain different kind of configuration inside so if you're using 5.0 close your eyes and override it no worries and then it'll be all good because all it does is if you look at this file it's overriding now here close it now all it does is if you look at the index.php uh, it, it um, requires this autoload file from the bootstrap folder which is right here bootstrap but the structure of the directory structure might be slightly different in laravel 5.1 i haven't really had a chance to i think i had a quick look, quick look uh, a couple of days ago but really haven't spent so much time so uh, been busy lately and um, yeah so if you use 5.0 you don't need to worry uh, we're on the same page next thing you want to do is get rid of this directory we already copy and copied and pasted it so we don't need, we don't need it anymore all we need is this folder inside the views and this one file we need so copy that and go inside here views and here uh, paste it and it'll ask you to override for one of the files which is app.play that's fine just uh, override it now then after doing this uh, get rid of the asset folder you don't need that asset folder and now when we um, we we need to create our create our routes properly because uh, the home uh, right now let's see let's see what it shows us it'll still show this because it's still giving this view it's already set in the control so we need to in this video we'll set up our home screen in the next video we'll start creating controllers and database configurations and migrations so we'll go here inside HTTP routes in routes we have welcome controller and we don't really need that so you can just get rid of this and in controllers get rid of the welcome controller we don't need this home controller has let's just say yeah, it has home and it fires index method so open the home controller first thing we want to do is make it guessed everything is guessed in this application there's no authentication next thing we want to do is we, we need to serve the home page so pages dot home dot uh, pages dot home is enough if you go here resources views pages and home and that's done now if you go back here and refresh we should be able to see the home screen and it says partials dot scripts not found because we haven't included the scripts in this um, in this so here create a new folder uh, views and then there's no folder called partials so I must have forgotten to upload that's okay 
uh, we can create a new folder quickly really quickly all, all it requires is just one file there's not much uh, much going on in the partial start scripts so and then all we need is a new file here in, if you look at this uh, one of the files for example if you go to pages home and you extend this it requires partials dot scripts in the in the uh, in the footer so we will uh, go to partials we'll create a new new file here uh, new file scripts scripts dot blade and get rid of all this crap uh, and then we'll start adding some of the scripts the very first thing we want to do is call our uh, all dot js because that has javascript uh, the js jquery built in it's already been compiled to that so script uh, just a type and text slash javascript and then give it a source of I'm gonna give it a source of uh, asset js slash all dot js and that way it can uh, find javascript next thing you wanna do is um, uh, that's all that's all you have to do there's nothing else for the, for now so just go back and refresh and we are presented with the home page so in this video we downloaded this um, assets from github we created a new application and after creating a new application we uh, set up the hosts and then we pointed our uh, the public folder the root of the public folder the index.php to this host so it can be served to our host virtual address and then we set up we copied and pasted those files in respective folders to maintain the directory structure for application and there was a file missing in the resources uh, partials dot scripts that's okay we created really quickly it was only one line we required nothing much going on anyway one of the controller we deleted and one of the controller we updated and make sure to uh, to change it to guest because there is no authentication in this uh, in this application make sure to change this to guest or just remove it you know and try to get to this page in the next video we'll be creating uh, our controller our, our very first controller and we'll be writing some database schema uh, for the images and we'll start uploading some of the images and then we'll come back to the LL algorithm and other things so thank you very much for watching and make sure to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next next video thank you